Meet the virus hunters, a team of Thai scientists who identify emerging diseases. But since January, they've had one mission, to help the government detect the new coronavirus. They've already cut the results waiting time down from almost two days to just three hours. The early detection and the uh, fast uh, reporting the result not uh, not just good early for the the patient. It's it's good also good for the government. So if this is positive, they can find the other contacts to not uh, make the the disease spread. 1,500 specimens have already been analysed here. That includes repeat screening of patients and any of their possible contacts. First, the virus is killed and the DNA is extracted. That's then separated into containers so it can be tested to prove if it's coronavirus or not. The reason we're not wearing full biohazard suits in this room, but the scientists next door are, is for one simple reason, and that's because the virus in that room is live. Everything that comes into here is dead. And because coronavirus isn't transferred through the air as an aerosol, it's transferred through droplets, this room has been deemed safe. Hello. No. Dr. Supperporn identified the first case of coronavirus in Thailand. Her lab is one of only two in the country testing positive samples, while others screen for potential sufferers. An expert in her field, she's previously examined bats, monkeys and rodents for the sources of coronaviruses, flus and Ebola. We also uh, collectorized the genome of the virus and right now um, the genome of virus can be used uh, to um, design the, the medicine, the drug, and or the vaccine uh, more correctly. And we also use this um, genome to following up to monitor the mutation. The research here isn't just adding to local knowledge, but can be shared with teams around the world. As Thailand plays its part in the global fight against this new threat. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Bangkok.